Hello Cancer, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? All right, Cancer. So we do have the Eight of Cups. We have the Page of Wands and then we also have the Six of cups for some of you you could be dealing with a scorpio possibly a pisces maybe even a sagittarius uh, doesn't necessarily have to be the case though but in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship cancer i kind of feel like there's a specific person cancer that's very um in and out of your life it's like one day they're here the next day they're gone uh for some of you this could definitely represent an on and off relationship that you have here uh with this person in particular but it kind of looks like something recently happened here between you and this person um and currently at the moment there could very well be a lack of communication here um between you and this person because of whatever recently happened here i guess uh between you and this person but with the page of wands coming out here i feel like this is you waiting to receive communication here from this person it's as if you know it's only a matter of time before you do receive communication here from this person i just kind of feel like this is like the dance y'all been dancing for a very very long time you know what i mean it's like one day you guys are together the next day you guys are not and then somebody always comes running back after the other like it has that type of feel to it but um it kind of looks like you're, yeah, it kind of looks like you're waiting to receive communication here from this person. How does this person currently view this relationship with cancer? Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles for them. We also have the Tower for them. And then we also have the Fool for them. So in regards to how they're currently viewing this relationship um, with you, I see this person, for the most part, very determined um, to let you go and what they once upon a time had with you go. Keep in mind that the devil, is, I mean, I'm sorry, keep in mind that the tower is linked to the devil. And the devil, it can definitely represent a very toxic and unhealthy relationship between two people. Uh, it can represent a very unstable relationship between two people. Um, and that's how they look at their relationship with you. They look at their relationship with you as something that was very toxic, was very unstable. Um, they could have even, you know, found themselves feeling like they were caught up in a vicious cycle with you, an unhealthy one at that, right? Um, and they kind of feel like it's time. Like they kind of feel like it's time to like let this relationship go and move forward and move on with their life and start a brand new beginning um, elsewhere. Because it kind of looks like what this person wants is a long term committed relationship full of stability and abundance. They just want a relationship with someone that they could honestly build and establish a life with. And I kind of feel like that's something that they wanted to do with you. But due to how things were between you and them, they kind of felt like it was remotely impossible to create and establish um, a long-term committed relationship with you. So they kind of feel like at this point in time, they have no choice but to kind of let this go and not continue to try to fight for this relationship anymore because it's not providing them with what it is that they truly want and desire which is like a stable and healthy relationship okay keep in mind that the ace of pentacles is attached to the ten of pentacles okay so then there's that let's see how this person's currently feeling though how does this person currently feel okay we have the uh temperance card we also have the Ace of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Two of Wands. I guess we'll see what happens here, Cancer, because in regards to how this person's currently feeling, you know, this choice that they recently made to let you go and what they once upon a time had with you go is concerned. They're feeling really good about it. They feel like they're making the right judgment call here, in other words. Uh, they kind of feel like in order to obtain what it is that they want which is basically a stable and healthy relationship they kind of feel like they have to let go of the very thing they consider to be extremely toxic and unstable which is basically their relationship with you so they feel like they're making the right judgment call here by letting this relationship between you and them go okay how does cancer currently feel okay we have the Okay, 
We have the judgment card. We have the world. And then we also have the empress. Mm. Okay. So in regards to how you're currently feeling, um, because you haven't necessarily received communication here from this person just yet, Cancer, it's causing you to really question like, okay, wait a minute. Like, are we going to reconcile with one another? Are we going to get back together? Or like, is this really done? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, I'm confused. Like, why haven't they reached out to me just yet? Like, they always reach out to me. What the fuck is going on? Like, it does kind of have that feel to it, okay? Um, like I said, I feel like the reason why you haven't heard from them has a lot to do with what I already mentioned about this person and, and, and the path that they're choosing to walk and take currently at the moment. Yes, there is a possibility that this person might have a, all of a sudden change of heart. That's definitely a... Oh, man. Wow. Look at that. Damn. You guys are showing up as a true pair to one another. We have the uh, Empress and then we also have the Emperor. You guys are definitely soulmates. It's like this person currently finds themselves in a bit of a pickle. You know what I mean? Because it's pretty evident to me that they don't want to lose you. It's, it's pretty evident to me that you are what they want. But at the same exact time, it's like... Oh, fuck man it's like at the same exact time it's like as much as they may want you as much as they may love you they just kind of feel like they're never going to be able to like create the type of relationship that they want with you and they kind of feel like in order for them to experience the type of relationship they've always wanted with you they kind of feel like they have to kind of get it elsewhere and it's mainly because they feel like they've honestly tried to establish and create the relationship they honestly wanted with you but they kind of feel like, damn, like, no matter how hard I try, it's like, it's just not working. It's just not working. It's just not working. Like, I feel like this person is really, really, really upset that they have to do this as far as walking away from you in this relationship that they share with you is concerned. But they feel like, fuck, like, what other choice do I have, man? Like, what other choice do I have? Like, it has that type of feel to it. But I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see. Maybe they might cave in and, and decide to run back to you. You know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving? Okay. Well, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords. And then we also have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. This is kind of like a little bit of a 180 coming from you as far as your energy is concerned. It's like you go from, man, I miss them, man, I want them back into my life, to then falling into this energy of like, I don't even know why the hell I want them back. After everything that they put me through, why the hell do I even want this person back? Why do I even bother with this person? Like, screw them. That's it. You know, I'm done. I'm actually moving forward and moving on with my life now. Like, it has that type of feel to it. Okay. You're definitely not taking action in their direction, by the way. What actions will this person take towards cancer moving forward? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right. Well, no surprise. I mean, we got the devil. And like I said, the tower is linked to the devil. Uh, we have the seven of pentacles. We got the devil. And then we also have the seven of cups. In regards to how this person plans on um, moving forward, this entire situation, believe it or not, between you and them uh, and what's currently going on here between you and them, it really does bother the hell out of them. Um, and, and here's why. Here's why. I kind of feel like this person kind of finds themselves asking the universe or God, you know, like, why? Why did you send cancer into my life? Like, what was the fucking point behind it all? Like, what was the point? What was the point? What was the point? What was the point? I just kind of feel like they're so pissed off that they weren't able to create a stable and healthy relationship with you. And I feel like it bothers the hell out of them as to why they weren't able to create a stable relationship with you. It bothers the hell out of them. It bothers the hell out of them. It's like, why the hell would you send me somebody so perfect into my life for it to not fucking work out like why would you do me like that god like why would you do me like that universe like it has that type of um feel to it <clears throat> let's look at the devil 
Tell me more about the devil. We have the hangman. We also have the moon. And then we also have the um, four swords out here. You know, it's kind of hard for this person to move forward and move on with their life. When they constantly find themselves wondering, like, but why the hell would you send me someone like this into my life and then it blow up in my face? Like, I don't fucking understand. Like, why would you do me like this? You know what I mean? Because they want to make peace with what happened here between you and them. They do, but it's hard for them to make peace with what happened here between you and them. When they have a million freaking questions as to why every time they try to work things out with you, something will always happen. To cause a relationship in itself to go south. I want to look at the Eight of Cups. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. I'm kind of curious as to why. Okay. We have the Three of Cups. We got the Hermit. And then we also have the Sun. Okay. 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 Cancer, um, <sighs> Cancer, this is just between you and I, okay? This is just between you and I. But, um, I feel like there's times, Cancer, within this relationship, right? Within this dynamic that you share with this person where you kind of give them the impression that you can honestly care less about this relationship when, it hap when what happens here between you and them. But let's just be real, okay? I feel like... I feel like you care a whole lot, which is kind of making me feel like you don't feel with this person. I mean, you don't feel safe with this person emotionally. Okay. You just don't. Uh, maybe this person gave you 99 reasons to feel like you shouldn't feel safe with them emotionally speaking. Right. But I am definitely getting that off of you that you don't feel safe and secure with this person. Um, you just don't for whatever reason. And I kind of feel like there's times where you tend to kind of like portray this image to them. Like you could honestly care less about them and whatever happens here between you and them. But let's just be real. I feel like you care a whole lot. Let's just be real. I don't feel like you want to be without this person. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel like you want to be without this person. I feel like you care for this person deeply. I feel like you love this person deeply. Um, I just kind of feel like you don't typically show it. You don't typically show it. You don't typically show it. Um, tell me more about the tower. Actually, no. Scratch that. Tell me more about temperance. Okay. We have the justice card. We have the king of swords. And then we also have the wheel of fortune. Mm. True repair situation yet again between you and this person. We have the king and the queen of swords out here. You know, it's interesting because I feel like this relationship between you and this person, it still has a lot of hope. Believe it or not, like you may not, you don't, you may not feel that way. They may not even feel that way. But I feel like this relationship between you and this person, it still has a lot of hope. It just kind of requires the two of you to be real with yourselves. You know what I mean? Like it requires them to be real with themselves and how they feel about you, what they honestly want here with you, and it requires you to kind of do the exact same thing. Um, Cancer, it requires you to be real with yourself. Um, again, because from the looks of it, just looking at the cards that you're getting, like, I, I think one can assume, right? One can assume that, yes, in a way, you don't really care if this relationship goes left or right, that like you can care less, right? But deep down inside, I feel like you care a whole lot, you know, because to me it's like if you really didn't care about this person you wouldn't be questioning like damn are they gonna hit me up or not is it really over between me and this person or you wouldn't find yourself in that predicament okay i feel like deep down inside you care a whole lot um deep down inside you want this relationship to work and so do they um but right now it's like you guys are you guys are both acting from a place of like, I'm going to be real. It's like you guys are both acting from a, like a place of ego and pride. You're kind of sitting in this energy of not screw them because they haven't even called me. They haven't even texted me. They haven't even bothered to work things out here with me. You know, so screw them, right? And then you're falling into this energy of, you know what, screw them. I don't even want anything to do with them. I'm done with them. Screw them, right? But I don't feel like that's what you want. I just kind of feel like, again, it's, 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 
it's coming from a place of ego, right? Because they haven't hit you up. It's like now your ego is getting triggered, right? And then their ego is getting triggered because their whole thing is like, what the fuck? Like I try to do everything I fucking could to try to make this relationship work and it still blew up in my face. Like, so everybody's coming from a place of ego and pride, but for different reasons, you know what I mean? Like they're sitting in their ego right now, um, really upset, really pissed off because their whole thing is, yo, I just wanted to build towards something long-term and stable with them and I couldn't make it happen, God damn it. And they're really pissed off about it. You're pissed off because, yo, they haven't even hit me up. Like, that's why you're upset, right? So everybody's upset. Everybody's in their ego. But truth of the matter is, is that you still want this. They still want this. They just want to create a healthy and stable relationship with you. That's what this person truly wants. Um, but I kind of feel like this whole you portraying this image, like you don't really care, you know what I mean, about them, like... Um, you got to understand that it could lead a person to think you don't really care about them. You know what I mean? Like, it could lead a person to think that. Even though deep down inside, I genuinely feel like you care for this person deeply when you portray this image to a person that ah, you can care less if they're here today, gone tomorrow. Like, you're going to make a person feel like they really don't matter. You know what I mean? To you, even though I genuinely believe they matter a whole lot, especially like... This energy that's coming out here for you. If you didn't care about this person, you wouldn't be questioning like, damn, are they going to call me or text me? You know, are they going to come back? Is it really? Oh, you wouldn't even find you, th that thought wouldn't even cross your mind. It wouldn't even cross your mind. I just feel like everybody has to be real with themselves. You want them. They want you. You guys want to both be together. I just kind of feel like once you guys are able to be honest with yourselves in regards to what you guys truly want and desire with one another, um, you guys could be honest with each other. But it starts with y'all being honest with yourselves first you know what i mean um so then there's that cancer all right um and before i leave because it just it came to me and it left the foam works both ways cancer it works both ways dude like you could always call them you know you could always text them you know what i mean you could the phone works both ways but you're i get it you know your whole thing is no they gotta call me but it came to me, so I figured I might mention it. The phone, it does work both ways. You could bring this relationship back together if you honestly wanted to. But right now, it kind of looks like nothing's really going to happen. Every, everything's at a standstill right now because everybody's in their ego and their pride, but for different reasons. All right? Once you guys can be able to move out of your ego and, and your pride, that's when I see this relationship potentially coming back together. But right now, everything's at a complete standstill between you and this person. All right. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.